And keep in mind on that downhill, as Clint says, the legs get wobbly and a little rubbery, and, and then a great shot there. Yeah. Uh, you got to be careful because things are dry up there. Any yeah. any little slip, any little twist, that, that could turn things, too. There, yeah, that's Norris who'll be coming over the top. That's the, that's the rim of the mountain right there. There's Luke Yeager, the younger uh, competitor here today, and he's hanging tough. Yeah. Um, I expected him to be... Uh, you know, the middle to back part of the top ten. Um, youth on his side, yeah. big lungs, uh, great training season with APU training uh, program. Um, but making the transition from the juniors to the seniors is not easy. Um, there's a David again. You can look, you can tell by the look on his face. He's he's giving it all he's got, but he's much more bent over than you normally see in Norris. He's unfortunately when you, when you drop yeah. the chest like that, it closes off your lungs makes it difficult to breathe. He is really working hard. He is. He's, he's, got a, he's got a reasonable gap on, on Max, but not what he was hoping for. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting downhill now. And then if you're Max King, what's the strategy once you get up, if, 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 this, is this, if this is the distance or close to it? Well, you know, there's Max. Now look at the way he's moving. Look at the way he's swinging his arms. Look at, the, look at the, his tempo. He senses that he's still got a shot at, at catching him. I think you know you can just see the determination on his face. He's staying more upright. His body position is better. Um, Switching styles, too. First he was going arms, then down to the legs, then back to the arms. David seems to be in that hunched over position. Yeah, Does that tell you anything? That's not by choice. That's David, uh, David's struggling. Um, he, that is not his normal body position. Two years ago when we watched him set the record here, he was running some of these sections. Mm -hmm. He's being much more upright. And I hope that shot right there, as Clint's been saying, if, if that doesn't now gives you the idea of just how hard these guys are working and the distance traveled and the gradient that yeah. they are having to go up. Yeah, you know, uh, as, a, as a race strategist, I got to tell you, look at look at Max. He's making a push. He's, mm -hmm. he's closing the gap. Uh, David's going to have to pull this out if he's going to hold off. Max is looking strong. And... Uh, now we'll see. Nobody knows anything about Max's downhill. We've never seen him under technical downhill conditions. We knew he would be physically fit and would be a, a hard charger, but no one's ever seen him race anything as, as technical as this before. Quick water shot for David Norris, and there he goes. Norris is still, he's looking a little wobbly to me. I hope he, uh, I hope he you know, keeps it within himself because no one wants to see a fall happen. Um, so they were, I was showing the, the guy's video from being up there last night of where you wanted to enter the snow. Okay, now he's going to let himself go. He's just got to make sure he controls his speed. Oh, that was uh, wow. <laughs> that was an impressive down and an impressive back up. Go to, for you folks at home, he's, he's going from zero to about 25 miles an hour. And he, but he came out, and that's exactly where you want to come out. He, yeah. he played that perfectly. Okay, and that's the thing now. Max King, let's see how oh, he handles this. this. King is he's yeah, looking stronger I mean, in terms of his, his smoothness. Uh, now, that's not to say he's going faster, but he's, he's, he's more smooth than Norris was. It looks like he's enjoying the ride here. Oh. Uh, it's a temporary break. Is it uh -huh. a breather here, this this five seconds, six seconds? I got to tell you, at home, that was so fun last night. I was up there at 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> and I slid that snow a couple of times. I went back up to do it again just because it was fun. Now, Max took a different line, and he mm -hmm. got off in a different place. A little earlier? Yep, and, and I think that was a bit of a mistake on his part. Um, Norris actually entered better, and I think he actually gapped him mm -hmm. just a little bit there. He's picked up some space. Now, that being said, Max was looking really good. Now, the question is, did that little respite, that was about 25 seconds of snow time, and you're usually you're grabbing snow and you're rubbing your face, and it just it gives you a chance to get off your legs. And it might have given David just enough time to regain his mental composure because we saw, when we saw them going over the top, Max looked like he was stronger. Mm -hmm. But maybe that little respite and uh, you know, just a chance to clear his head might get David back moving it as fast as he was. Little jolt, little cool down. How does he look? There he goes. He's Okay, I'd like to see his arms up a little more. You see how they're sort of just flopping down below him? And uh, that's not good. There go the glasses. Yeah, he got rid of the glasses. Right, now he just took a turn. I'm not sure he wanted to do. There's a high line and there's a low line on this. See that high line that mm -hmm. you can see in the beginning of our camera? Right there at the bottom of our screen? That's the faster way down. I think he made a mistake by not missed by not taking that. Could it, could it be a case where controlling himself and he just had to go that way? Absolutely. He might.